Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Yesenia and welcome back to Yesenia Perfections. If you guys are new, please go help me out by go and click the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so YouTube can notify you every time I upload a new video and don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you guys enjoy this video. So let's begin. So I've been wanting to do an updated Q&A sit down um, answering your guys' questions. So let's begin. So I'm going to start by obviously doing my makeup and I did read on um, one of my comments from my last video saying to show the eyeshadows that I use. So I'm going to try and do that more often for you guys when I do do a makeup tutorial. Um. So I'm using Labels Beauty um, eyeshadow palette. If you guys are interested in this palette and supporting my friend's small business, please uh, go check her out. I'll have her Instagram and her website down below. So these are her eyeshadows in her palette. Mm, not sure what type of makeup look I'm going for, but let's begin. I'll try and focus more on answering your guys' questions than um, showing you guys the, the makeup. But you guys can follow along if you guys do end up purchasing this palette please tag me on instagram also so i can see what makeup looks you guys created so let's begin i'm going to take let's see i'm just wearing like a black dress so when you wear black, I feel like you can play with a lot more colors. Um, let's take Kimmy, which is this darker brown. So I'm taking that one and this Morphe M433. And I already did my eyebrows. If you guys want a updated eyebrow tutorial, please let me know down in the comment sections. Down in the comment section below. And you're bringing this up towards your brow bone. Just like this. So I asked you guys on my Instagram and also on here on YouTube to ask me some questions. And a lot of your guys' questions are repeated. So I'll just be answering it obviously once. Let's begin with the first question. And thank you for everyone that commented and joined this Q&A. 
So someone had asked, who are you inspired by when it comes to makeup? Also, are you into daily journaling? So who inspires me when it comes to makeup? Well, one of the first YouTubers I started watching, which is many, um, many you YouTubers, um, but I would say Beauty Burned, and, um, there's um a YouTuber, oh, gosh, what's her name? If I can't remember their names, I'm going to put here on the screen their Instagram so or their picture so you guys can see who I'm talking about. But yes, Beauty Bird, I know she started her YouTube channel by uploading her makeup tutorials and it that inspired me to start my own youtube channel also because if you guys don't follow her she has it's more than just makeup and her blogs you know she has a very emotional uh life history that she went through you know but yeah and as journaling i do want to start journaling um it's something that i think it helps you mentally with um your mental health if you guys don't have anyone to talk to or are not taking counseling but even if you take counseling i think it's still a very important thing is to journal we started well he off and on i've been trying to journal uh but i just Sometimes it takes a lot of you just to journal on a daily basis, you know. I am trying to start journaling and I want to do a separate video. If you guys follow me on my Instagram, I shared there this new journal that I started doing. So, if you guys want me to do a separate video on like my journaling and what I think about it, then let me know down in the comment section below. So now, I'm going to take Velma, which is now like a darker brown. This one right here. And this will just be more concentrated on the crease. And I'm just taking, this is a BH Cosmetics um, brush, pencil brush. This video is going to be kind of long. I know a lot of you know a lot of you guys don't mind this long videos. So now you want to blend this out.
and hopefully you guys can see okay so now the next question is do i have a job yes this youtube social media is my job mm -hmm. when did you start okay and the last question was asked by brie period ball Dritch. And this is on Instagram. Um, and then Lucia Aguirre um, underscore asks, when did you start to get into makeup? I started to get into makeup. Well, I started wearing makeup by the age of like, I would say I was like about 12, 12 or 13 years old. So I was, I was pretty young. So now I'm taking this Morphe M124 and I'm taking the Wet n Wild Concealer in light medium beige. And I'm going to use this to cut the crease. So let's see what the other question is. Um, one penguin asked, what aligner do I use? And I'm guessing she's referring to like liquid liner. I use ELF's liquid eyeliner. Or I like the Kat Von D eyeliner. Are you dating anyone? Um, asked Chisai Sakana. And no, I am not dating anyone. Um, yes. Uh, do you have a husband? No, I do not have a husband. Asked um, Shabnanda. Now, Jen G. Oh, well, Jen underscore G Z M asks, why don't you review boxy boxy charm? Okay, hold on, guys. Oh, I haven't reviewed or used boxy charm because I haven't purchased it um, myself. I've been wanting to get boxy charm for like years, but. I haven't wanted to subscribe to the subscription but wait for that video hopefully soon one day I will do a boxy charm review for you guys one thing I am subscribed to, which is a free subscription, all you have to do is just review, like take their type of surveys on Influencer. And I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I think I, I am. It's called Influencer. And, like I said, all you have to do is take their surveys, and if you qualify, they'll send you an email, and if they, if you qualify for a box, box, that's what they call them, um, then you'll take, you'll answer their questions, and you'll, they'll send you 
whatever products there it's for that box and all you have to do is just keep sharing them on your social media so either instagram facebook and yeah they send you free products for you to try out Next question, LWV Shop asks, do you want kids? Yes, I would want kids one day. Um, and also her, she asked, do you have a boyfriend? No, I do not have a boyfriend. And slash Tanya Fagun asked, you or said you are incredible thank you girl okay so now on youtube mary asked well she asked do you have a do you work and i already answered that question um she also asked is your mom married or is she divorced my mom is divorced my parents are divorced um when did you decide to and okay so mary mary asked mary asked when did you decide to be trans and how did your family react to it um I am not trans, but thank you for your question. Um, that's one question that I ask, I get asked a lot is if I'm trans and I don't know why, well, I know why people assume that if you guys are new um, and haven't seen my video on my disability, please go check it out before you guys start assuming sometimes some questions are, I know we're all curious I know I have a very curious mind, but I sometimes feel like it's not nice to just assume things and to be asked those questions. Another question or assumption that a lot of people always assume is that I'm pregnant. No. I am not pregnant also, but thank you for your question. I will link my video somewhere above here, and I believe it's always down below in the description box. So for any new viewers that are new to my channel, please go check that video out. Um, and then she's asking how old am I? I'm 28 years old. I'll be 29 in September. Um, are you on TikTok? Yes, girl. I'm on TikTok. I have all my social media link down below. What are your favorite places to shop? Um, okay, let's go with the lid shade. Uh, which I think I want to take. Um, it's so, all so pretty. Um, Leo, which Leo is this? So I'm taking Leo, and then I 
think I want to take Daddy, which is like this shimmer. So pretty. Do you guys see that? Beautiful. We had asked was what is my favorite foundation? And I have mom at the moment uh elf foundation is my favorite foundation. Another foundation that I've been liking is the NYX uh, Born to Glow. This foundation is really good and um, well this one is in, is in neutral tan. I really like it because it leaves your skin looking so like flawless and smooth and hydrating um let's go for more questions cindy h um asked have you been vaccinated or plan to be vaccinated i am vaccinated uh i barely got my first dose um and in about probably by the time you guys see this video i will be fully vaccinated kathy sal asked a video today great um i'm not sure what you meant by that question girl uh but no i'm recording this video today and then she asked are you going to barbecue tomorrow for memorial day no not that i uh not that i know of uh we don't really celebrate memorial day and i apologize my mom and my dogs okay what the Frenchy asked what's your favorite beverage if there was one thing you could change in this world what would it be what's your biggest pet peeve other than makeup what do you love to do if you won the lottery what would you do with it so thank you girl um I'm guessing you're a girl um for your questions so my favorite beverage well I don't I stopped drinking alcohol because of my liver problems um but I like margaritas and then um, I always forget what pet peeps are. Um, one of my pet peeps, and I feel like sometimes with saying your pet peeps might make you sound like a bad person. But I would say loud chewing um, or eating, like when you chew like really loud, uh, that's one of my pet peeves. Um, changing your plans at the last minute and not letting you know ahead of time 
that's kind of a pet peeve I have. Like, I'm a very understandable person, but if you just change your mind at the last minute and tell me at the last minute, in a way, that's something I do not like because when I plan something, I move I make time for for you for that day so now I had to cancel everything that I had planned for that day so now I can't you know now I don't have any plans because you can you canceled on me at the last minute um so yeah, uh, and then what was the other questions? Other than makeup, what do you love to do? I love dancing. I love to go shopping. Um, what else? Okay, I'm going to spray my face with the Morphe setting spray. Um... I'm guessing you're referring as like besides makeup like other hobbies that I would like um I don't know honestly I can't think like I love shopping um I like flowers like um, if I eventually I want to own more flowers like more plants to ah, to water and all that okay so this is the elf foundation I told you that I like I like it because it says flawless satin foundation. It gives you not matte, but somewhat, you know. And I'm using new sand neutral undertones, even though I have more of a yellow undertone. And then the other question was saying, if I won the lottery, what would I do? Me and my brother would always talk about this. I said that if I ever won the lottery, one, I would finish paying off my mom's house, help out my grandparents, um go on a vacation like i've always wanted to go to rome so i would go to rome and i would donate some money to any charity probably to cancer like a cancer charity and um Alzheimer's because rest in peace my grandpa on my dad's side he passed away from Alzheimer's he had Alzheimer's and I just you know those type of sicknesses um, they're very hard it's really hard to see someone you know suffer through that and even though i was very young when my grandpa passed away with them i still remember you know some things 
And um, I just, yeah. Does your mother feel about your makeup styles? She likes it. She even wishes that she could be more, um, like she could apply makeup sometimes. She has hooded eyes also. Or, um, yeah, hooded eyes. So like one thing she always compliments is my liquid eyeliner. Like she says she just tries to do it herself and she just can't. I'm like, you just have to practice, but my mom has no patience. So, yeah. Um, what's the most embarrassing thing you have ever done? Oh gosh, mom. One embarrassing thing, and this Cindy H asked, one embarrassing thing that happened to me when I was younger, um, I was uh, practicing for my quinceañera um, and uh, the guy who was teaching us the dance, uh, there's, we were practicing and they were going to put me, like lift me up and put me in their shoulders. Well, a fart came out. And I farted on his shoulder and on my brother's shoulder, I think it was, also. And my parents were there. Oh my gosh, we started laughing. I was so embarrassed, also because he was so cute, guys. Like, he was really cute and I farted on his shoulder. Yeah. Like, that was so embarrassing, guys. Uh, okay, let's do... Let's bronze our face. I'm using the Makeup Revolution. I'm running out of this shade. I need to buy a new one. I think she had asked another question. Um, oh yeah. Uh, Melissa, are you currently dating someone or actively looking for a partner? No, I'm not dating anyone. And actively, I mean, if the right guy comes to me you know and um he's interested and i'm interested and you know great i keep manifesting the type of guy like my future husband what i want in a guy in a relationship but there's times where I just, I just give up, you know, if God wants me to find someone, I think God has the right timing for everyone, you know, and my dad once said, cause I would say, oh, when I get married, he's like, how do you even know if you're going to get married? What if God just doesn't want that for you? I'm like, well then, I guess I'm, I'll just have to deal with that, you know? De La Torre asks, what's the longest relationship you have had? Oh, and when can you do another Ulta haul? The Ulta haul, um... Maybe next month, maybe next month I'll do another Ulta haul. I just barely ordered some things, which if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it somewhere above here so you guys can go watch. 
and then you said what's the longest relationship i've had um honestly it was like five months that's how long my relationship lasted and i think it's because i ended the relationship we were kind of like we broke up like two times he broke up with me the first time and then i broke up with him a few months after that um okay spanglish asked what are your plans for the summer so my plans for the summer which september i guess it will be the towards the end of the summer um let's use some blush so in august i'm going to go visit my grandma in arkansas and um i am so excited because i'm going to go celebrate her birthday and my birthday with my grandparents and all my family over there so those are kind of my plans and also i'll be traveling to this um this new study for a medicine um Um, to Maryland so I guess you could say most of my summer I'll spend it in Arkansas and Maryland is doing anything for July um, 4th of July I'm not sure yet sometimes they do a um, like fireworks uh, here in my town and then like in another small town so maybe I'll go do that maybe have a barbecue at the house um do you like movies or tv shows have a wonderful and blessed day thank you I do like movies I'm more into like chick flicks type of movies um and tv shows um i do like tv shows um i don't know why but i'm into like a lot of tv shows that are like doctor tv shows um like uh good doctor um grace anatomy and i like 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 criminal minds and um csi miami i think Those were all the questions, guys. So thank you guys for being part of this Q&A. Mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. This mascara, mm, it's alright. And the Ulta Beauty Maximum Lashes. I really like this mascara. But yeah, let's curl our, la our lashes.
for lips and we are almost done i'm using remy rose i'm guessing in the shade carmen this is a everlasting liquid lipstick and to be honest this is from the dollar store guys so let's see if i like it i feel like it's going to be more like a like a gloss but oh and it's very dark so let's see okay no this is actually I actually didn't really like it, so I don't really recommend it. It is like a... Lipstick? I'm not sure what I think about it. I feel like it's a... It's leaving it a little bit patchy. There you guys go. This is the final makeup look. So thank you guys for joining to today's sit down, chit chat, get ready with me, Q and A. Thank you for thank you for all of your guys' questions. I really enjoy answering your guys' questions. I know I have new viewers and don't know anything about me. So if there's any other videos that you guys are interested in, get to know me better, um, please let me know down in the description box below. I really love doing a, a little bit of everything. I know... My videos can get kind of repetitive. I, I'm i I'm trying to do the most that I can. Having a YouTube channel and just me doing it all on my own. It's a lot guys. Like if you guys are thinking about making your own YouTube channel. It's a lot that goes in, um, and a lot of times it's more, it's fun. I love my job, but as you start getting more noticed or you, you start growing your channel a lot more bigger, the more criticism and the more hate you start receiving and it's not so much that like um it gets tiring sometimes to keep hearing this keep hearing um i don't know if i'm making sense uh there's things that even though we might be a social influencer that doesn't make us any less of a human being and there's comments that that hurt you know and that are offensive because they are you know kind of like put yourself in that person's shoes and would you like someone asking you or telling you those things you know but we need to grow thicker skin and um, now that we're not doing anything wrong you know I'm here on this platform on this this is my job that I I chose 
because I love to help people, but just understand that sometimes we're human beings and besides my social um, my social media job, my YouTube, my Instagram, TikTok, it, you know, we have a life out of this and we're still human beings and we go through things. Um, but I know that's why I like doing Q and A's because I want you guys to get to know me more, you know, and I want to get to know you guys too, you know, let me know down in the description box below. Are you guys married? Do you, uh, do you guys have a boyfriend? Do you guys have kids also? Um, where do you guys live? And let me know, like, what, who inspires you in, in this world, you know, might be your, someone in your family, or if you love watching a favorite YouTuber, let me know what, it, who inspires you to keep living, to keep living this life and to keep going on because I know that I get so many messages from all of you guys that tell me how much I've impacted. Oh gosh, and I don't want to get emotional, but how much I've helped you guys um, overcome whatever you're overcoming in in your in your life you know you guys have mentioned my voice my voice is just very calming and relaxing um and thank you you know something that you know you take us your own insecurities are things that actually help people out there, you know, and um, just know that I'm here for you guys. I try to answer a lot of your guys' questions and comments um, on here on YouTube or on Instagram. If you guys do follow me on my Instagram, thank you. And if you are still not following me, um and you do have an instagram please go do so we are almost at 30k on instagram so please go follow me and i do have a tiktok like i answered one of the earlier questions i do have a tiktok on my social media is linked down below as well as my p.o box and my my business um email where you guys can email me um and yeah i love you guys thank you guys for tuning in i hope you guys have a happy memorial day by the time you guys see this video it had been two three weeks from now but um yeah i love you guys don't forget that we are all beautiful in our own way don't let anyone tell you or make you feel any less Bye, guys.